Oh my god, she thinks she's the best tarot reader in the world or something. Well, her tarot is kind of amazing. Oh my god, you watch her tarot channel? Of course, after I saw you watching it. Oh my goody goody, oh my god! Oh yeah? <laughs> Talk nonsense and I'll block you. Oh my goody goody, oh my god, why do they try to get blocked so bad? Oh my goody goody, oh my god, be hey. Oh my goody goody, oh my god, I'm just trying to do love tarot. Call me stupid with a bow and arrow, be hey. Sun up in the sky. Okay. Um. All right, Capricorn. How are you guys? How are you doing? Hope you're having a great Thanksgiving wherever you are. Um. It's so funny. Europe has some Black Friday stuff, and you're like, uh. <laughs> what do you guys know about Black Friday? Anyway, we're going to do a great reading for you, but I want to definitely remind everybody that this is not a service. You really need to know how to act on this channel, right? I'm not providing a service to you. You are visiting my channel. And just as you do when you visit someone's, you know, home, have some decorum, will you? Watch the channel trailer if you're new here. All right. This is not your personal service, Karen. This is Schnookums Land. Hello. My existing Schnookums. Let's see what we have for y'all. Mm -hmm. Okay. This one? Ooh, that's nice. It seems to me like... Things are going to be on the up and up. Ooh, Cup of Schnooks is coming out for you. He is a great omen on this channel. Yeah, King Cuppa. You can find the reason why if you go to my channel homepage and click on the videos tab. And just write the word emergency and you'll see the video all about King Cuppa and how he became an omen on this channel. Things are up on the up and up, but you do have the seven of wands at the bottom here in your love life or your person, as well as the eight of cups just kind of randomly popping up. And so I feel the need to encourage you because I feel like you may have attracted some people in your life who are definitely, you know, hard to crack, hard to deal with. I'm seeing, you know, strong ego, you know, just hard to get through to internal conflict showing up here. Um, and just really blocked, guarded energy. Dang, all of it just coming up at the same time. And I just kind of want to encourage you because, um, you know, for those of you who know already, my first advice is obviously if someone is that difficult to get through to, um, that is a surefire sign that you probably don't want to keep prodding, prodding, right? Like when love is not easy, right? Especially at the beginning. It's a big enough sign, but nobody wants to listen to that. They would rather watch their signs <laughs> on the internet than just take you, you, you. A lot of tarot readings that we do can be completely free, the personal ones. If people just like follow the simplest rule, if it's difficult, if you have to chase, if it's not working, if someone's not calling you, if they're not showing interest, then that's, it's, that it is what it is. But no, they don't want to hear that. They want to know, well, maybe, you know, because they injured their foot back in 1986, um, that could be affecting their brain because their brain really wants me, but they just don't know it yet because their foot is causing their brain to lag. So let me just keep watching tarot and maybe tarot will change the story and at least comfort me in thinking that somebody who has shown absolutely no grace, no interest, <laughs> at least not right now, is somehow suddenly interested in me. Okay. I told you that some of you are dealing with somebody who's stubborn. It is not your job to make them less stubborn or less difficult to work with. 
Um, and if you're looking for something new and you already know all of that, then it is your lucky day because these cards are amazing together. The Wheel of Fortune and the Strength card, um, they're actually bringing something to you that will allow you to test all that strength. Everything that you've learned, everything that I've just said, everything that you already know. If, if you were rolling your eyes and saying, girl, I already know all of that. You don't have to tell me any of that. Great. Good for you. Now the universe is about to test that. Does she or does he really know that? Because something is changing here that's very major. It's the first card coming up. So it's amazing. Uh, Will of Fortune. And, you know, it will test your metal. M-E-T-T-L-E, -T -T -E, guys, not M-E-T-A-L. Okay, that's a new word for those of you who are quite young. Although you shouldn't be younger than 21 watching this, I would hope. Because I would hope you're spending your time just being free and not worried about a person or a love life. You don't need that. Um, actually, no, 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 that's not true. Because this could teach you. I'm full of gems now. I could actually teach you a lot. Some people don't get taught how to relate. Do you know what I mean? Anyway. Oh, this is, but you know what, Capricorn? This is overall, like, okay, fine. Your metal will be tested. Um, you've dealt with someone who's stubborn, possibly walked away. This could be in your history, but it doesn't mean that, yeah, right, exactly. You see that? It doesn't mean that there isn't this new opportunity. See this full card? See this 10 of pentacles? This growth, maturity, even after a storm, even after a breakup, even after depression, even after silence. It doesn't mean that the, there, there isn't love on its way. See Queen Queen Kappa? Kappa Schnucks' wife? Right. Um, and that's my general feeling, even though I do see challenges and major ones. I still feel like there's an opportunity here for you to grow. I feel like there's an opportunity here for you to um, be tested in what you know, in your knowledge, and to show the universe that, yeah, man, I came through the storm. <laughs> and I'm able to do it. I'm able to survive. Um, now, somebody whom you're probably thinking about is thinking about you. But they're thinking, they're thinking about a difficulty with you or the situation. Yeah, they're very confused, right? Like the maze is kind of still popping up in their head as to, you know, where permanently or long-term something would go, especially if there has been a shake-up, break-up, a sudden shift in their behavior or something that has taken them out of sorts. So... You know, I would, oof, man, this feels to me bittersweet. The bitter part is the toxicity, um, past energies that took you through a lot and maybe whom you put through a lot as well. Um, but the sweet part is, like I said, the universe rising up and saying, I think Capricorn is ready for a new test. I think Capricorn is ready for this. I think Capricorn is ready for um, a challenge when it comes to deciphering love, opportunity, and growth. Transformation, I would say. Even, you know what? Even with that death card, where was it? Death is actually not just an ending. It is transformation. Are you ready to transform? The universe wants to know, Capricorn. Are you ready to transform? Um, let's see. We'll answer that question in just a bit. Let's see what Capricorn has to say about it. Capricorn is like, no. <laughs> just mail me some chocolate. <clears throat> some hot cacao. Oh, yes, Capricorn, yes. I think some of you in your minds right now are like, oh, I have had a great teacher in love. There was one person, maybe two, in your love history, in your relationship history. And if not, maybe a teacher for real, like a paternal figure or somebody who whom you've learned from just by watching. But there's somebody here who is a life teacher to you, who has been anyway. 
um, who has really, really um, made you feel like, okay, I can handle, I can defeat, I can battle, I can whatever, take care of the things that come my way right now that maybe I couldn't take care of before. Maybe um, I felt like I was weaker before or I was less knowledgeable. Um, I was more vulnerable to be taken advantage of. Or maybe I just, you know, was too in love to see. Now I feel like you're saying, I'm not so in love where I'm blind. I'm ready. I'm empowered. I'm, you know, on the defense now. And it has taken me time to see this a lot of time and hopefully for a lot of you a lot of grace because you need grace as well yeah even if certain things haven't come through in your life you need grace and you need understanding and you need patience temperance right that tempering of your emotions um, that allows you to understand that you didn't know what you didn't know and you will coming forward. There are some accomplishments ahead. There might be even some accomplishments now. And that's where that grace comes in. It's like, don't think that you're not as far ahead as you should be or whatever. whatever. No, all of this is about you having grace, despite whatever challenges have come your way, despite whomever you've dealt with or are dealing with, who is difficult to deal with, or who is stubborn in terms of listening to you, whatever disasters you face, this is about being ready now because you've been sharpened just like a knife, just like metal, the M-E-T-A-L one, <laughs> the M-E-T-A-L metal as opposed to the M-E-T-T-L-E one. Um, you've been sharpened. You've been sharpened and, um, you know, you, as a result of that, you're slightly more mature. Um, now you just need to believe it. I think you want to, but there, there are definitely some things that still, you know, come to mind that still ail you. Um, and you're probably in a period of healing, if I'm to be honest. Yeah, with this angel card right here on top of that. You're probably still in a period where you find yourself healing. Um, some of you have taken on a little bit more than you bargained for. Maybe don't take on more than you can chew. Because this is quite a burden. Whatever it is, whomever it is, don't take it on. It's not your responsibility. Um, some of you have actually not heard from someone you should be hearing from. Look for miracles, though. 777. Seven, seven. Look for miracles. Um, you thought that you would not get out of a certain situation, and you did. I remember when I told you it's time for a new beginning, the full card is showing out for you as well. It's weird how the devil came out as soon as I said, look for miracles, because you're going to need them. For those of you who've had particularly traumatic experiences that have changed your character and forced you to go inwards, forced you to lose confidence that you never had to seek before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's an allergic reaction to someone or something, maybe from your past, maybe it's present. Um, and I think honestly, I mean, with this angel here, I would say that you probably, yeah, probably need to emphasize grace and you probably need to hear that there will be connection for you in the future. There will be. I mean, there's history and there's time showing up and there's this feeling that some of you have that generates negative thoughts, especially at night. Oh my God. Or when you first wake up. There's a feeling, a sunken feeling that can have the ability to generate negative thoughts and make you feel like you messed up or you took on too much and so on and so forth. But I see a window. At the end, I see this Four of Wands energy, absolutely beautiful. You know, it's colloquially called the marriage card, but you know, it's also, oh my goodness, after shuffling, that still comes out. That's amazing because it's really driving home the point. 
Couple of Chinooks, of course, showing up here as that great omen, as well as the Eight of Cups saying to you guys that, listen, whoever left was supposed to leave. Whoever is coming is supposed to come. Um, these two are very big juxtapositions. You see that? It's so fun. I didn't even see this Knight of Cups here, but this is somebody approaching in love. This is someone leaving in love. You see, you see how that worked? I didn't even know this knight was here as a bridge. I just felt it. Whoever is leaving should leave, Capricorn. Don't try to stop that train. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Don't try to convince. This is what I told you in the beginning of the reading. It is not your job to convince anybody to love you. If you take that principle in current relationships, future relationships, past relationships, if you take that principle, that lesson, you will be able to move forward, especially from people who have moved forward from you. You will be able to invest in yourself. You will be able to open up a portal where some someone here seems like someone is going to be interested in you in time. I don't know if it's the same person you're thinking about, but in time, I see someone approaching in love. Followed by King Kappa, who's the great omen. But I also see some of you needing to purge, cut off. Yep, mm -hmm. I knew she was going to come out because I saw her before. As soon as you cut off the negative thoughts, the negative thinking, and the negative people, guess what pop starts popping up for you? Commitment, relationship, love. Um, I think some of you just, it's like you crack open bad eggs all the time. I don't know why that, you know, that, why that followed you, and I'm sorry. But it's like you cracked open a bad egg um, and you thought you could make it work. Um, I see commitment happening for you. Even right now, I see it. You know, I see some of you are looking for apology. But um, you know, apology from someone with whom things have ended it is just like the cards are saying you're holding on to something that's dead. Just leave it alone and let real love, right? Look at Queen Cup are coming up again. Let real love, real connection, all of that come into your life. This is what the universe wants to do for you. It wants to bring commitment. It wants to allow you to re release certain burdens. Um, and so are you going to be ready, willing, and able to let the universe do its work? Um, let people who have spoken by their actions go if they need to go stay if they need to stay it's about not pushing and just knowing and just restoring this confidence in who you are and what you know will happen for you all right let's move to Aquarius Because I'm happy. All right, Aquarius, it's your turn. We are doing a very elegant reading today. One that will snatch your wig off and put it right back on with a kiss on the side, if you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, God. Listen, when I'm in this kind of mood, you got to take what you can get. You know what I mean? All right. Welcome back, my lovelies, my loyal ones. How have you guys been? Um, so some people are celebrating today, probably. Out having fun, doing their thing. Um, I should have told Capricorn this, but I hope you Aquarians have also done some reflection about the year coming up because your birthday is not too far away. We are in Scorpio season right now, but... Oh, no. Actually, we've entered... Oh no, we've entered Sag. So you're really up next in a few. All right. Um, let's see. This is Schnookum's land. You are visiting my house. This is not your personal service, Karen. Um, I would like to say hello to my existing Schnookums. Hit that subscribe button if you'd like to join the tribe. It'd be good to see you. Um, let's do a deep dive. Speaking of this. <laughs> This looks like someone literally about to take a dive, a uh, deep dive. But in tarot, that card is an indication of a walking away. 
Um, someone has either walked away, left you hanging, something of the sort. Okay, now I'm the one shaking the table because I'm swinging on this chair and I'm sorry, I apologize. Maybe I shouldn't swing on the chair so much, but it just really comforts me. Hang on. Okay. Now, back to this. So, yeah, I mean, Eight of Cups is indicative, of course, this being either your love life or your person. Eight of Cups is indicative of a walking away. You could have found yourself um, maybe recently contemplating why people do that. Hold on. You could have found yourself contemplating recently, hey, why do people walk away from me? What is it that I'm doing? Um, am I giving off a runner chaser vibe? Because I'm not here to chase, honey. I'm not a bank. Don't call me chase. <laughs> no, but seriously, um, corny jokes aside, have some of you been like... I don't know. Have you been, did you have a lot of corn for Thanksgiving? Because I don't know how I'm absorbing corniness during your reading. Um, corn flakes, corn on the cob. What is going on with the corn here? I see this um, reflection on your part. And I don't know, maybe it's the season, but I just see a reflection on your part about longevity. You see, this is longevity. This is leaving though, and this is longevity. And I think that if you're blaming yourself for not having the formula, it's a futile exercise. Even the, the most compatible people on the planet don't always know how come they've lasted so long. Every single day in all these picture perfect relationships that you might see on the internet is a choice. You know, it's people just waking up and choosing, you know what, I won't leave today. So don't think that there's some master plan against you or something that you don't know and, you know, can't figure out because people seem to always be leaving or one person in your life seems to always have left. Um, I think there's a karma, a karmic justice coming to somebody that you may know. I also see potential reconciliation with somebody who may have left. That is only if this person has done, you know, a lot of development work on themselves. Some of you could be um, maybe not hearing from someone because they have some contractual obligations, um, you know, and those obligations can range from literal divorce paperwork to you know, court paperwork to real estate to whatever. Um, and if you don't have a person, it might be the case that you end up with somebody who um, is pretty astute in those kinds of paperwork investment um, areas. Um Dang, this is a reflection. Okay, so you do have someone who's coming to sound judgment, kind of reflecting. Mm. Kind of reflecting on how, you know, they've gone about relationships or connections with you. Um, how does that serve you? Why would you care? <laughs> you see, the issue is the long-termness of this. That's the main issue. It's the, the contractual aspect. It's the how long will they stay? Because your issue is not getting people to love or like you. No. Mm -mm. You're easily liked and loved, but you have an abandonment complex or you attract people who trigger that abandonment complex or they have the abandonment complex themselves. And they have sometimes, in some cases, very complicated relationships with their maternal figures or your maternal figures have a problem with them because they're not um as nurturing as they should be in some cases you seek the nurture from someone who might not be able to give it and as a result of that they skedaddle not because they don't have emotions for you but because the provision of that longevity and that nurture is not wired in them 
or they just don't see it with you. They feel like it's too much of a burden. Um, let's see. But why, you know, it's so funny. People are so interesting because why would they care? Why would you attract people who care so deeply about you, but feel like taking it, you know, multiple steps further is heavy work? I don't know. That's just weird. If you like someone enough, you should be willing and happy to do the heavy work. And so maybe the universe is calling your attention to that and saying, is it like pulling teeth with this person? Is this person willing and happy to do the heavy work? Or is this about to be a scenario where you see signs of love, but you don't see signs of work? Or you feel like you're a burden. You should not be a burden to someone else. Someone in your life who aims to love you has to be giving. Huge issues, Six of Pentacles, that's charity. It has to be that someone is willing to give. Someone is here is open. Um... They stand for what you're standing for. But, you know, they may be conflict avoidance. They just don't want the drama. Yeah, wow. You also have to be careful not to attract people who come from drama, like places of drama, sites of drama. Um, I say be careful, but I also see some communication slowly, slowly creeping your way. Someone moving very slowly in your direction with all the drama they do carry. <laughs> um, there are some wands here. So uh, again, this warning is because, you know, this is an ace of wands and it's, you know, it's very heated. Wands carry a lot of heat with them. The eight of wands is also very heated and it, it's probably indicative of back and forth communication. The Ten of Wands is also hot, as is the Five of Wands. So you want to make sure that if someone comes back to reconcile with you, they're not doing it just because they want something physical or hot from you. You want to make sure that the reflection that they've done, especially if they've walked away, has led them to say, okay, let's have a conversation about longevity. Let's have a conversation about staying that's if you want them to stay. Everybody doesn't need to stay. That's another thing too. We just make this assumption that everybody wants a long-term connection. Maybe you don't want it with this person. Maybe you don't want to rush to lock it down with someone who doesn't deserve you. Have you ever thought about that? Um, and for the single ones out there, all I will say is be careful because abandonment triggers cause people to act on the physical right? Like if you haven't been physical in a while, suddenly you're aching to be physical and you're letting things slide that you shouldn't. And you're getting yourself in drama, conflict, things that can trigger you. Um, if you've been doing very well and staying away from that, kudos to you, a big thumbs up. Um, but still, you know, one never knows with the human brain, it just does weird things sometimes. And you find yourself in a situation where you're like, I should have known better than that. And you do know better than that. But based on these cards coming out and re repeating themselves, I still have to warn you. Um, I still have to warn you. You have a lot ahead of you as well to think about. You have a lot of growth a lot of change, a lot, a lot of maturity, which is great, but most importantly, a lot of money to be made. Some of you might look to get a higher status or to be promoted somewhere, you know, just to expand your income and take a chance on, you know, new adventures. Yeah. But this keeps pointing to certain behaviors being a block. I don't know what you're doing, but it keeps repeating itself. Mm, okay. Wow. So, dang. Who are the cards trying to tell you to leave alone? Or what is the card? What, what are the cards telling you to leave alone?
They're saying the cards are forcing you. Wow. Okay. Who, there's somebody you must be very, very physically weak for. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there's somebody you must be very, very weak for because it seems you're drawn to their chaos and the cards are like, leave, leave, leave that alone. Focus on yourself. This is you, the star card. This represents you in tarot. For some reason, the cards are like anything that will be an argument is going to leave you stuck, is going to have you waiting, and they're predicting some sort of reunion, reconciliation, and they're warning you that, oh my God, when it comes, it might feel good, but you will need to be ready, prepared, and willing to just say, man, what has changed? Some of you have a soul tie here. It's a karmic contract that is difficult to break. So you stay stuck in that position and you, you, you hold on, right? You don't really consider other options or prospects. That's just for some of you. I would say others of you, especially if you are starting clean and you don't have anybody to worry about, you're in a really good position to worry about yourself. You are in a really good position to not fall for the okie doke and just worry about yourself because there's a lot happening here that could elevate you to the next level, particularly if you raise your voice to express yourself. Um, this could go the other way. If you raise this voice to get in conflict, to get in drama, or to, you know, express a weakness, you could, you know, unravel a little bit. There's something also uh, for some of you who have waited too long. Yeah, you spend too long on one person. Dang, these cards are brutal today. <laughs> They're saying you spent too long on one person. You should have done something different. Um, you would have learned a lot more. You would have acquired a lot more. You would have gotten a lot farther. But there's no point in looking at the past. I don't know why the past is kind of like coming out here in this timeline, this temperance. They're saying, yeah, absolutely. This is what I would say. So maybe they took us, you know, backwards to bring us forward. But this is correct. Yeah, moving forward, right? Full car, taking that leap ahead. Uh, first, the major arcana. It is, um, I would say it's a, it's a forward moving um, outlook. Yeah. And that forward moving outlook, like I was saying, is very rich. Look at this. This is, oof, man. This is winning energy. And this is a good love. You know, this is more of a love that works for you, not a bamboozling type of love. What is this scammy love? <laughs> you know, I don't know what is coming to you quickly or what conversation needs to be had, but it might get you in chaos. So you may want to just kind of slow down a little bit when it comes and just focus on the future, focus on the present, focus on the now. Do not move backwards in time. Backwards in time is not going to serve you. Um, in the future, you have abundance, fertility, growth, expansion, um, just joy, something to look forward to, especially, listen, especially when you tap into your creative side and really nurture who you are as an Aquarian, that's, you know, really that's the key to unlocking a lot of what you deserve, a key to a lot of money, a lot of wealth, a lot of growth, abundance, all of those things. You have to be comfortable in knowing that it's you. What has, what has derailed you is this complex of people leaving in your life. Like I said, it's this, you know, attracting people whom you think need to nurture you, you know, prop you up and give you validation in one form or the other. You don't need that. You don't. The power is not in their hands, um, especially if they think something here with you, if it's a long term burden, if they think that's going to be too much to sign a contract and be with you in the long term. You don't need that. Um, the power is in your hands. This person knows it. Don't let anybody whom you meet tell you otherwise, because it'll just bring chaos. This is saying, have patience with yourself, leave behind the past. Yeah. This temperance is a timeline. It's like time it's saying, leave behind the past, move forward in the present, the full jumping forward, leaping forward towards your North star, which represents you Aquarius so that you can get all this abundance, 
abundance that awaits, especially if you raise your voice in self-expression. Great, great, great for you. Um, wow, a couple of Cut the deck, I'm seeing the sun. So all of these are great messages for you. Move forward with them, okay? Um, mm-hmm. Hello, Pisces. How are you? All right. Um, so you are on the left. All right, Pisces, we're going to do a bit of a juicy reading for you today. Let's see what we're going to do. I um, want to say hello to everyone. Um, reminder, of course, this is a general reading. It's a demo. Just like you see demo readings in a department store, this is a demo reading here. Well, you don't see demo readings in a department store. You see demo televisions. And you know that those televisions are not yours. So... This is a demo television. Also, this is not your personal service, Karen. This is Schnookum's Land. Act accordingly. If you're new here, definitely watch the channel trailer. We are very generous blockers here, okay? Keep your cool on my channel, please. Don't act the fool on my channel, please. Because it's a block, 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 block kind of day. And I will block, 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 block you right away. Hello, Schnickums. How are you guys doing? Don't forget to subscribe if you want to. I never say that because, you know, I figure if people want to subscribe, they will. If they don't, they won't. Do you mean like, this is, uh, I mean... It's a favor. <laughs> Are you joking? It's not, it's not like, it's not that kind of channel. Um, let's see. This is you, my love. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Very, very deep in thought. Either you are or someone else whom you've dealt with. Oh, sorry. Let me not lean on the table because then it shakes it. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of deep thought. Um, it's also a lot of mystery. I don't think you know someone very well or you've just not heard from a lot of people in a long time. I think for some of you, someone just said the wrong thing at the wrong time and disappeared. <laughs> Literally disappeared into the night. If you're starting out and you would like someone new, I sense some anxiety ahead of like how you would go about that, you know, um, how things would go. Uh, just walking into the unknown is, it seems scary for some of you. Also, just not knowing how someone feels or, you know, something of the sort. That seems like a bit of a, you know, a challenge for some of you. Mm. Someone's still spying because they don't know much about you. Listen, even if they did before, you must have put some kind of block where they had a reduced level of access to you. And now, yeah, some of you are totally solo dolo now. You're independent of them. You see this nine of pentacles? It's showing an independence away from someone who had access to you before. 
And that person now wants to know what Pisces is up to. A little bit of a spila ruler. It's a bit of a spycraft card there. Um, I wonder what they'll unveil about you. Let me see. Is this some digging up? This is an inf information card. Let's see what you can dig up about them. How about that? Or maybe they can feel that you're spying on them or watching or thinking about them. Maybe they can feel that because the moon is very magical. It hides a lot of things, but it knows a lot of things. It's almost like it's pregnant with information. Um, wow, someone is thinking that you still have feelings of them regardless of how you carry yourself. Jeez, Louise. They think there's something still there. If you're in a connection right now, this person is certainly still, um, they're getting in the thick of things. They're holding emotion for you. Um, they're seeing that something here is worth it. You see what I'm saying? Something here is worth it for this person. Hmm. But how do they, yeah, mm, you know, sometimes people see your worth when you don't give them access. It's weird, Pisces, like it's, maybe you don't even cut them off. Maybe you just don't give them access. And the less access they have, the more they wanna know, like how do I, you know, figure out what Pisces is doing? They didn't care before, right? So much, but something you've done has changed. And so now they're trying to figure, you see, you see what I'm saying? See all these confusion energies? Their message is definitely coming your way. They could have come your way already. And maybe they were murky or very difficult to read because they were kind of mixed. You, you, you got this mixed signal energy, this mixed messaging energy from someone. And you're like, man, does this... Does this dummy like me or not? <laughs> um, others of you, I think, yeah, I mean, the door is closed and someone is trying to figure out how to open it again. They don't know because they don't have the access. Um, still, for, still for a portion of you, this could be an options card where someone, because they don't know how far their feelings go for you or how you feel about them, they could, you know, have this options card. Um telling them to keep their options open because maybe they're afraid of just how deeply they feel uh, over here for you. The hair font is pretty intense. It's a commitment card. Ooh, wait, somebody's catching feelings. And for the strangest reason, What is a sudden declaration of like peace and love? What is a sudden, you know, realization that you're someone's soulmate? What's that about? The funny thing is, the, the only thing that is really annoying, let me see. Yeah, I mean, A, in some of your cases, you've literally cut this person off anyway, and now they want, they feel like they, they recognize your value and your worth. You made them really happy. They would love to restart again, but right now they're in a place of bluesiness because there's all this silence, right? Um, it's, it's, that's crazy because it, it, now they have a closure issue because, you know, either they were cut off or something ended. You know, it's whatever happened with that sword, somebody was told off or cut off or whatever. So on the one hand, I can see, you know, energies here that detail a, a little bit about having intense feelings. But on the other hand, I can, I can see a lack of, like, 
a lack of clarity around what they want to do. I mean, this is very back and forth, this Knight of Wands energy. You know, this Seven of Cups is, is certainly a maze. It's not certain. And, and definitely the, starting with the moon is not certain. Why are they trying to figure out what you want to do before they declare what they want to do? Why is it tentative? You know, for a lot of you, it's because you've definitely not given them access anymore. Uh, for some of you, I mean, especially if you're single, um, I see you attracting to yourself someone who will be very, very into you, but will not take like the leadership role that they need to take in order to express those feelings. So you want to definitely look out for that in your future. Make sure that you are it doesn't make them a bad person but just make sure that communication is clear there's so much lack of clarity which can lead to miscommunication right even when such strong feelings are present so you kind of want to make sure you, you you you're aware of that um because again i mean even with this coming out it makes zero sense to be this blocked and guarded when really you would you would love to marry Pisces. Look at this, Four of Wands energy. Look at this Queen of Cups energy. This is your counterpart. You're the King of Cups. This is your Queen of Cups energy. It doesn't matter if you're male or female. So I know that you attract people who um, are intrigued by you, who uh, want to deal with you, etc. They just get themselves in a maze because they don't, they can't stare the ship. So they expect all the masculine energy to come from you. Oh, okay. So this is repeating. So you've definitely cut some, a few people out of your life. Um, oh man, are you joking? Here I am taking your side. So kind of like both of you don't really, okay. So you get into connections and there is no leader per se. Hang on. I don't know if you want to do the whole modern bit. Ah, sorry. I don't know if you want to do... Okay. <laughs> that was a sign. Let me move backwards because I need to I need to plug in the light. It just went off. Hold on. But yeah, I mean... Seven of... Seven of... Um, Seven of Cups is coming on for you as well. So I'm like, okay, so who is... Gosh, I should, I should get the, um, the freaking... Hold on. Will this stay or will it be done? Okay, it's back on. <sighs> yeah, I mean, guys... This is a little bit of confusion, if I ever saw one. You get into connections and it's like no one's really the emotional leader. No one is definitively stating what will be, what will not be. Um, and so it can lead to a lot of confusion or mixed messaging. Meanwhile, unbeknownst to you, someone could be totally in love with you or vice versa, unbeknownst to them. You could be totally in love with them and they would have absolutely no idea. Absolutely no idea. Um, because, oh man, what are you two doing? <laughs> well, listen, whether you're in a connection now or you will be in the future, this guardedness is insane. This lack of clarity is insane. My goodness, just say it, spill it, lead it, direct it. Because the, the affection is there. You're easy to love, the cards are saying. Oh, well, speaking of being easy to love, I don't know if you remember this on this deck. Your counterpart is showing up, you know, and she is literally the queen of love. I think your cards would love for you to learn a lot more about communication and relationships, even if it means starting from scratch. Um, I think some of you are owed an apology. Maybe you never got it, but you know, 
you're still owed it. You're still thinking about it. Um, you try to use work as a distraction just to kind of take your mind off of, you know, the crazy mixed messaging in your life or the busyness or just the confusion. I think some of you tend to feel very lost and as a result of that may register to other people as being guarded or not open. I don't want you to change that. I'm not advising you on any level. I'm just saying that the perception could be there that, hey, maybe you're not open. But, you know, the argument could be maybe you're not open for a good reason. Um, maybe the things that you've experienced that have uh, forced you to take on a certain perspective, a certain stance, a certain approach towards people. And so no one can really um, fault you for that. Um, I see connection in your future. But I see the cards literally saying um, that some of this connection, like, literally, okay, you may not know this, but there are a lot of swords turning in different directions in your, um, in your reading. Swords are rulers of communication, logic, discourse, conversation, things of that sort. I see connection for you, but I also see this need to be able to lead romantic connections almost intellectually like there has to be leadership so this connection will happen but you know and it could be happening right now even but you know communication is needed in a very sort of mature way in a way that works to bring you the kind of um transparency in these feelings that you need because some of you may have actually cut people off without even knowing that they were head over heels about you. You just cut them off. You were like, oh, well, clearly. Clearly what? It was, it was muffled crap hidden behind the moon and mixed messaging and blocked guarded perceptions and, you know, back and forthness. <sighs> some decisions could have been made without even really communicative leadership, emotional leadership. Um, and maybe some of you, I would say, reflect back. I wouldn't say regret that. I would say you reflect back nostalgically to, you know, some of the good, good, sweet times, yeah, that taught you that people may not be all so bad. You're craving this you know, gentil, peaceful, wonderful connection with somebody. And maybe you just don't always have the blueprint to plant the seed, start from fresh, whatever it may be. You may not have the blueprint and that's fine. Everybody doesn't. Maybe this is your sign to sort of work through your communication issues that you can succeed in future relationships or succeed in the one that you're thinking of now. Um, because it's a skill that maybe not just you are missing, but the people that you attract might be missing. So the universe is open and ready. The wheel of fortune is showing. But, you know, the king and queen of discourse, the king and queen of conversation, intellect, logic, and leadership are showing up here and they're saying that might be a missing element sometimes when it comes to loving the people around you when it comes to understanding building a bridge of communication succeeding um and just kind of attracting love into your life okay well a couple energies certainly showing for some of you um possible connection possible connection with the right seeds being planted and the right communication done. Some of you, of course, I will not guarantee a relationship because that communication game is not strong enough. And so you have a lot more in your journey. Uh, but others of you, I think if you get it, you get it. And, you know, you will in due time um, see maturity in a connection. All right. Let us now move on to Aries. Kind of taking my time today, aren't I? Sure am. 
Let's move on to Aries. Okay, let's do Aries. Um, welcome to Schnickum's Land. Um, there's some Aryans that we, my assistants and I, have tried to purge from the channel. There's always rowdiness. Um, Aries, I don't know what to tell you, but some folks are going to make you guys have the shortest readings on this channel to the point where it, I might just do 11 signs, <laughs> okay? I don't know what it is. Every year, always a problem. Always a problem with this sign. I don't know why people of this sign. I just like, we try, but um, yeah, I mean, I hate to punish the people who are just kicking it. Have absolutely nothing to do with this. But until, you know, uh, my assistants can get a grip of things, we will have to scale down when it comes to the Aries sign. Moving forward, though, welcome everybody to Schnookums land. Hello to my existing Schnooks. How are you guys doing? Um, we're going to get started with a reading that will unpack some stuff. Keep in mind, this is not your personal service, Karen. This is Schnookums land. This is my house. Um, watch the trailer if you're new here, please, so that you understand. Um, Hierophant, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Wow, that's pretty solid energy, quite frankly. Um, this shows someone's willingness to invest, um, long term, really. These are committal, even the Hierophant is committal. Um, but there might be too big of an expectation for them to fill right now. Okay, so this is the vision. Very high, very grand, very long term. If this person is serious about you, you will know there will be no two um there will be no two options about it. But if this person doesn't feel like they're up to par just yet, like if they're still working up to this boss status, they might get quiet, they might feel a little bit distant, broken, they might articulate a brokenness, they might slow down a bit. Things things could slow down at that night of pentacles. Um Right. So this looks like a bit of a wait time here. So regardless of desire or wish fulfillment, there seems to be something that is making this person sort of mess with your mind, make you wait, you know, and I would advise you not to really absorb too much of it because some of this has to do with their own inner demons and the things that they worry about at night, not being up to par. This person has to be financially up to par um before they feel romantically up to par so just fyi um i also see some silence here what's going on this is hardly speaking you may have cut somebody off or you could have had communication issues with someone um it looks like some of you are checking out because of a heartbreak yeah there's distance it feels like you're drifting you know, you feel a little bit of a drift, a shift. Um, the door is closed. World is the last of the major arcana. It looks like a door is closed, but you're still spying, still trying to figure out what's going on. Um, again, I would urge you not to internalize somebody else's issues because part of what makes this person secure is how much money they have or how much stability they have, right? Even if it's not financial. And... Um, I think some of you may be, I don't want to use the dematized word, but you might be sprung, right? Or vematized. You might be sprung because of something physical. Um, and when you scratch the surface or you try to open up a door or a cycle that's closed, the universe is warning you that it might lead to a lot of disaster and what? Confusion. So, um, man, it's not that this person is not thinking about you. I see the emperor card showing up. Um, it's not like for those of you who are single, people are not considering you or people are not attracted to you because I do see that in your cards. Um, but I think that for the kind of love that you want and need, um, some of you have set standards for people. I don't think you're going to be so, so open to things that are going to be burdensome. You want the long term and, and people are aware of your standards. And so they can be slightly intimidated, but not show it. Um, some of you have actually downright just said, you know what, I'm walking away, I'm cutting you off, I'm focusing on my coins, nothing else. 
um, because you know what that disaster feels like. Um, I would say, you know, whatever, I'm not going to over advise you on what to do, but I would say, you know, from this person's mindset that, you know, this five of pentacles is not where they want to be. They know that an emperor, which showed over there, wants a lot more, ten of pentacles. So they know to invest and to build long term, they have to, what, take their time, knight of pentacles energy. So if you don't hear from them, if they go into this hermit mode, it's because they understand what it takes to be with you. This is for those of you who have a person or those of you who are seeking a person. This is the mindset that is showing up on your person's side. Okay, let us move on to Taurus. All right, Taurus, welcome to the reading. Let's have a look and see what is in store for you. Um, <clears throat> this is Schnook from Land, everybody. Hello to my existing Schnooks. Let's see what's forthcoming. All right, if you're new here, please watch the channel trailer. It'll tell you everything that you need to know. Welcome. This is Schnickums Land. Hello to my existing Schnickums. This is not your personal service, Karen. Let's make that distinguishing trait known. Um, wow, you're starting with the tower already? Jeez. Can we have dinner first? Sorry for shaking the camera as usual. Um, well, you know what, with this tower, Taurus, I'm a bit concerned that, um, you've been getting into disaster after disaster. I hate to say it. I'm a bit concerned about that. Um, maybe not even loud disaster. Maybe it's just something that's a quiet disaster simply because, you know, some of you might meet people and you'd be very interested in them. And then when you scratch the surface, you realize, oh my God. Maybe this person is not all they cracked up to be. They only give a little, you know, they might be misers. They might, you know, offer you something, but it might be a small little something. It might not be that big. It might not be a lot. And so you deal with that and you try to hide from others the level of disaster that you're dealing with because you don't want to be named and shamed. So, you know, you take your time but you're dealing with much more than you have let people know recently. Um, I think that you are still attracting potential in your life. This is your love life being represented over here. And so I still see potential for you. I still see that. Um, but I see a little bit of um, an unknown, right? This is very mystical here. The high priestess it gets into that realm of a mystic, a psychic, a very spiritual realm that, you know, will actually call on you to be trustful, to have faith, to really, really not give up despite, you know, the, <laughs> let's just call them slowdowns that you've experienced. Um, because there's bigger coming. There's a lot more coming. There's better coming. There is, you know... Right, brand new beginning, just like I said, this is the full card. Um, and it's it's the first of the major arcana cards. It's very much about that new beginning, it's very much about you know growth opportunity. <clears throat> and so sorry, I'm shifting my chair. So you want to just kind of keep that in mind. Um yeah, I know it's it was really tough to start with the tower card, isn't it? I know. So for some of you, though, listen, someone hasn't been speaking and don't let them speak to you unless they issue a heart, a heartfelt apology, this token, this peace offering. So, you know, it could be tempting, right? For those of you who've gone in, gotten into situations, it could be tempting to run back into the arms of someone and seek the familiar. But I would say do not unless they offer the correct apology um hang on one second 
as always, I have to turn the light back on. All right, so as I was saying, any of you dealing with a silent creature who has not spoken, you know, don't give in until they offer the appropriate apology. And I will say they will. This is communication back and forth. This is something heading your way, by the way. Let's see, because, you know, this is quick moving. This is brand new. It's a leap. It's a jump. It's a... It might break the ice. This is wow, silence on top of silence. Right. So in some of your cases, I will say that um, this timing issue is popping up. I don't know why there, w there could have been a timing issue, but part of the reason for someone's silence here has a lot to do with the timing. In, in some extremes, um, somebody here could have already been taken and, you know, making a leap of faith would take time. So, I mean, however you compute it, it's still ending up, though, in silence. Um, it doesn't have to be a silence where they're not speaking at all, but just, you know, a mystery in what they're thinking, what they'll do. Um, if they if they've broken up with you, how they will act, and there's still some of that showing up. They feel to me like they will speak, though, right? If you're waiting for someone to speak, I see I do see that coming. I'll give you that, but I still see them not revealing the real reason for why they've acted the way they've acted over time. Um, maybe they want to guard you. Maybe they want to guard themselves. This person looks out for themselves. Nine of Pentacles, not surprising. Um, <clears throat> let's see. I'm going to just throw a couple more cards. A couple of... This is, this is intriguing, the magician. But I'm just trying to explain. I'm just trying to inquire why they're so silent. Oh, six of cups. Someone from your past keeps haunting you in your dreams or keeps, they're still lingering in your world. Yeah, see the six of cups? This with this high priestess, someone is still lingering in your world. They are the reason for everything. Whatever everything means. Um, they may not be over you. Try not to get too mesmerized and confused. Try not to paint everything with um, rose-colored glasses. Try not to view everything with rose-colored glasses. As I warned you before, I said, I think someone's going to come and talk to you. I think they're going to want to apologize or offer a token. And the nostalgia and the feelings might rise in a way that, you know, causes this maze of confusion, this mesmerization, and it will allow you to forget. Maybe you shouldn't forget that you're owed an apology from a few people in your life, but maybe someone in particular, um, someone who might be very self-centered or who might only see their side of the story. Um... Let's see what's cooking up on your end. Right. So I don't know what would be causing so much silence. And if not silence, this haunting feeling in your love life where... You might be increasingly spiritual or maybe seeking a lot more psychic guidance than you normally would. Um, it's showing, though, that there's somebody who, who has been silent with you or just maybe not revealing of information. And that is at the top of your mind for some of you. And 
right you have to lean on your family your tribe your friends if you have any you should um the good ones will help you perhaps stop worrying and stop seeking information researching spying and help you go inwards go inside of yourself to kind of um deal with your truth I think you will do excellently well taking care of yourself if some of you have been questioning whether you can do it all alone I think you can yeah with a network of support I think you can I think that there's still room in your heart in your mind you know for love I think you know, with this person approaching you with that cup, that beautiful cup, there's still a way to open up and permit love in your life, regardless of the things that have been haunting you and the things that you can't see. I know something is making you sad, Taurus. I could feel it myself. I don't know what has brought you down or what could bring you down, like what has that kind of power. Um, mm, I see. It's repeating itself. So, well, for some of you, it's this, right? It's either you want to be committed and or married to someone specific or just, you know, in general, in life. For others of you, it's that you've really spent a lot of time with someone who wasn't going to commit to you because it wasn't the right timing or because they were committed to somebody else. But you probably should pay attention to this temperance card. This timing card. It seems to be making a final statement to you about just how precious your time is and, you know, who deserves it. Making you think about who deserves all this time from you. It's such a valid question. Um, because you can go on and on and on with people who you know, may talk a good game and then ghost disappear or get silent, you know, and they still appear in your mind, your dreams, your subconscious, and you want to restart things with them, but then they offer very little and start breadcrumbing. Or for some of you, you could start a new chapter and say, you know what, I've been through enough. I'm going to plant the seeds. I'm going to start this brand new beginning and I'm going to manifest it. Um, it's your choice. But just know that like no one should get away with not communicating with you how they feel. No one should get away with that. Hang on. Am I not sitting the right way? Uh, up, lift, down. Up, lift, down means what? Oh, lift up and down? Yeah, but what about the back of this freaking chair? I think this chair has gotten into my back somehow. Fucking hell. Sorry. I was wondering why my back was hurting. Stupid ass chair. Anyway, um, very, very deep situation for you because I worry about, you know, the time that's spent and the timing issue. Um, maybe you have family members who are worried about it too. Over here. Maybe a friend or a network of people who are worried about it too. Maybe you have um, given so much, right? Six of Pentacles, that it's taken a lot from you. Five of Pentacles. And for some of you, you might need to just wash away a lot of things that you don't trust anymore. Because they're what, what's bringing you down. They're, they're what's making you think that you don't have a choice when you do. Um... very interesting anyway you have someone here knight of cups energy someone's you know certainly approaching just make sure that when they approach you have all your ducks in a row and that you're very very clear on what you want so that you don't find yourself compromising all right let us go to gemini Uh, 
Okay, hello Gemini, how are you? We're going to do a splendid little reading for you today. Um, let's take the time to kind of reflect on, you know, everything you've been through in love, what you would like moving forward, and then we'll see what the cards have to say to you today. Um, please keep in mind, you're watching a general reading. It's like a demo television in a department store. That demo television is not yours to take home. It simply demonstrates what the television would be like if you actually paid for it. You've not paid for this reading. It is not your personal reading, so you know that. Having said all that, if you're new here, please watch the channel trailer. And if you're not new here, welcome to my existing Shnikums. This is Shnikums Land. Let's get started, my love. And see. Shall we? Oh, man. Massive damage. Massive emotional damage. Gemini, you cannot walk the earth so untreated, so unhealed, and expect that tarot is going to heal things for you. No, my love, these are cardboard, pieces of cardboard paper. They mean nothing, you know, except for when someone who is really, really, truly, truly gifted is able to map them together in a narrative using their own psychic craft, using their own way of feeling and healing the world. But even then, you know, with this being a general reading, there's only but so much, right? Let's see what lessons we can get for you because I think some of you might need some. I think some of you have been dealing with emotional injury for longer than you would care to admit. It's very remarkable to start a reading like this with the Ten of Swords in your love life or your person. I mean, Ten of Cups. Mm. This seems like a very black and white relationship. <laughs> no pun intended. When it's good, it's great. When it's bad, it's awful. If you don't have a relationship right now to speak of, or you're not thinking of anyone, then this could just be pointing to the patterns that you may want to look for when you are in connections where it's like you want to tell the world about it when it's going well. And then when it's not going well, you want to, you almost want to crawl under the covers and punish yourself or punish somebody else. Some bleeding is showing up here. Somebody is really starting to get exhausted of the round, around, roundabout. Someone's getting tired of it. Someone is pleading like, if this isn't going anywhere, then can we just stop going? Can we just not even bother? Um, sometimes, you know, things come to a crashing halt, Five of Pentacles energy, and they seem slightly painful. Um, I think someone here may have wanted family or something big, something committal, or someone here could have chosen family or their friends or a network over the other person. There's a lot of healing that needs to be done. You see this? This is a healing card right on top of that injury um and maybe some of this healing you might do without thinking about anybody else romantically or otherwise um oh this is very similar similar to the sign i just read the universe is kind of calling you out mm, that's a bit that's a call out i hate to say it but it is a call out because the universe is essentially saying for those of you who have spent an enormous amount of time on someone who has not spent the same amount of time on you, you're sacrificing yourself. 
Like, literally, you are sacrificing yourself, is what these cards are saying. Um, you're sacrificing your time, age, effort, benefits, all of those things. And the universe is reminding you that it's limited for each person that you meet, right? So, you know, you have to evaluate the people in your life. Do you want to give someone who is either broke or broken 90% of your time on earth? And then someone who actually deserves it, you want to give that person 2%. It's all about balancing time. It's all about really finding someone who speaks your love language. So this is an urgency. And I feel like the universe is going to act. The reason I feel like that is because these are three major arcana cards back to back. The universe tends to do that. <laughs> like if you don't listen, the universe starts to, you know, act for you because you've not listened to its advisory. I feel the universe is saying, lest you waste any more time on injuries in connections and relationships, we will act to heal you and bring you someone who is much more connected. This is you in tarot, this lover's card. Because what happens is somebody, you know, some of you attract people who don't quite see you. They don't understand you. And despite their not understanding you, you still go for it. You still try to make them. And what that does is, is it wastes time. For others of you, you, the reason why it didn't work out between you and someone you really, really were attracted to was because of a timing issue. Um, oh, the Hermit card is coming out. Mm. Well, your loss is definitely, your the loss of your presence is definitely felt. Um, that's what makes these things so injurious because... I don't think you leave bad blood. I don't. I think people still think about you. I think people still want you um, when you leave. It's just that I think a large number of them in your relationship history have simply wasted your time. They've made you work for it. You shouldn't have to work so hard for love. This is not the boss of you, my dear. Um, let me see what's going on on your end and see if there's anybody headed along to sweep you off your feet, darling. Mm. Well, you know, some of you, you could have considered being match made by someone. You could have been the matchmaker yourself. I don't know if I buy this idea of you being a matchmaker, you being social and, you know, you knowing about connections, relationships and so on and so forth. I think it's a front um, for what's really going on. I mean, because this injury is very loud spoken. Um, yeah, exactly. I think you have this going on in your mind. There's a lot weighing on you heavily, mentally. And I think when you go and try to um mix mingle or present yourself to the world yeah it's a mask yep the cards are finishing my sentence for me this is a mask you're wearing seven of swords energy deep down there's a, a, a resentment almost like a pain that you feel because really what your intention is is love you're the lover's card and what you get back in return is this brick that you have to keep banging in order to win. And that's got to be exhausting. Like wearing this mask has to be exhausting. This is you giving, 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 exhausting yourself. Um, I would really think that that's the reason for this back and forth energy. This isn't quite stable. I wouldn't say change your type. If people have told you, oh, you need to change your type. You like this kind. You like that. I don't think it's your type. I think it's that. I think you're the type. <laughs> and that you need to match somebody who 
very clearly sees you. Like I said before, sees you. This is the truth. The Ace of Swords, the clarity, the truth. Um, you know, because this energy of in, in and out with somebody being in and out of your life or people in general being out of your in and out of your life. I don't I just don't think it works. I think it weighs you down and I think you act like it's OK, but it's not. Um, yeah, some of you have seen sl very slowed down action in your love life. It hasn't been as active as you would like, shall we say? But that's for the better, you know, right? It's for the better because you need this reflection, this internal reflection that the high priestess does. It's for the better because um, maybe timing is everything. If you act prematurely, you might run into, yeah, mm -hmm, disaster. So just wait. Let the healing process, you know, complete itself. Whatever it is that the universe is doing, let it just finish that, right? Look at this Red Cross card. That's your healing. Let it complete itself. Let it, let it just do its thing. Because it wants to lead you somewhere. Some of you are hard to lead because you have your mindset on someone or you have your mindset on a certain way. But I would say the universe, you know, has very interesting ideas that can get you out of this mess that you attract to yourself another thing too is can you also be savvy with this sword turned up i wonder if you're being sad savvy especially those of you who have dealt with people digitally if you've dealt with people digitally over over you know the web online chats swipes whatever i would say you need more savviness because there's too much trickery showing up here you see what I'm saying? You're attracting, you know, these are crazies. What is this? So beyond you, you know, wearing a mask for others, you also need to address, you know, your own level of detection, you know, because uh, some of you are now getting on this thing where it's, everything is a one night stand, no pun on night, but this is the night of wands. It's very in and out. So there's a lot weighing on you because... I think you're presenting one face to the outside world and inside there's a lot of injury. Um, you know, there's a lot of family concern in some cases. Um, there are people who have loved you and like crazy, but they've left or they've left you broken and they're not speaking and they owe you an apology and this and that and the other. And you don't need that drama. You don't need that negativity. What you need is for the universe to finish your healing process so that you can see clearly and pick somebody who's going to stay that might take what? Time. There goes that temperance again. All right. Um, let's see what we have for cancer. All right, hello and welcome. Welcome, welcome to the reading. Um, everybody, you are in Schnickham's land. This is my house. Please behave uh, like you have sense. For those of you who are new here, please watch the channel trailer. Otherwise, to my existing Schnickums, skip all that. How are you guys doing? <laughs> This is not your personal service, Karen. This is Schnickums Land. Hello to my existing Schnickums. How are you doing? So we want to kind of see what's going on. Um, if you're not one of us, feel free to join the tribe. Hit subscribe. Um, get your wine. Get your whatever it is that you sip on. I only drink water for the most part. I'll have a smoothie if I want to have a wild night. But... <laughs> But yeah, I don't drink alcohol. If you do, you're free to just relax, unwind. As I go through this 
tarot podcast with you. All right. You're watching a general reading, not a personal reading. This is not your personal service, Karen. All right. Let's see. I think I've said everything I need to say. Ooh. Oh, gosh. What is up with everybody's funky behind reading today? God, man. Eight of Cups. Why? I think you feel very distant to someone. Someone's, you know, they're deciding to walk away. They're deciding to leave, leave something alone. But you know what's so funny? I haven't even pulled any other cards yet, but I can say that this person misses you because I can feel it. There's so, like so much time is either passing or is about to pass. And I'm sure this person is nervous about that. That's for some of you. For others of you, man, you might have a hard time getting back in the saddle if you never healed from a previous connection or relationship. You might still take time to heal from that. Ooh, how did I know that? This is a mess of a reading, Cancer. You have people who miss you, people who um, want to see you, people who have been heartbroken by you. Whichever category your person or your love life falls into, it's showing up here. I could feel it just from this one card. And then this other card came and confirmed it. You have a very, very deep relationship history. It's either something is excessive or something is missing deeply in your connections. And when I say excessive, it could mean just this excessive need to cling to people because they have left. It's this excessive need to feel wounded because of other people's actions. There is an excess there. And it feels open and unprotected. It feels unhealed. Wow, everybody is showing, why is everybody showing their unhealed parts today? What is that about? Everybody's just showing everything about them that's not quite healed today. Well, if someone's done you wrong, I can guarantee you they're spying on you. They are checking you out, whether through Google or social media. They want to know how you've been doing. If you're into someone now, they still want to know how you've been doing. I mean, they're still tracking you. They're still spying. It doesn't have to be advanced level spying, but you know. By the way, guys, I am so livid at my discovery. I don't know what it is about some people. They just really need to know what you're up to. And it seems like you've got one of those. Um, I'm going to make a prediction that some of you will meet somebody on a project, something that you're working on. That's going to happen for you. You will meet somebody on a project, something that you're working on, something that's work related. Um, if you start a project, you will see what I'm at. See? See? How did I know that? Well, I don't know. Some will say is magic. I knew it. I said, I'm feeling something here and it came out right here. By the way, if you're not familiar, this is King Kappa, Kappa Chinooks. He's a very, very big omen on this channel. He means good luck, good peace, and good happiness. He just means love. The King of Cups is obviously the King of Love in Tarot. And, you know, we have a whole mini doc about him. If you go to my homepage and search for the word emergency, you'll see the video about him that pulls up. Um, the video thumbnail will say Tower Shocker, but he pops up whenever I feel something good for someone. He just pops up and says, yep, you're right. See how he popped up for you? And he's like, yep, yep. For those of you who feel like working on something, I 
You better get to it, darling, because you're going to meet somebody through that labor, through that hard work. It could be somebody who's working, you know, outside, working on your cable line. <laughs> it could be someone working on your home. Or it could be somebody at work um, who's checking you out, maybe in the building. And if you work from home, it could be, again, something to do with some sort of project. Um, in a lot of your cases, you've dealt with someone who's ghosted you. I don't know if this person is going to return. It's a very odd position because I feel like the person who's ghosted you is still wondering what you're doing. Anyone you've ended something with, it's like they're still wondering what you're doing. They're still spying on you, which is so weird, right? Like who still does that? Cancer's like, don't we all? <laughs> yeah, but still, geez, they're still in love with you like that? That's weird. Hold on, let me turn down the heat. It's too much. Hang on. turned it down i was wondering i was like i can't really breathe <laughs> I feel like i can't really breathe guys okay yeah when i when i heat blast it really blasts yeah but anyway as i was saying why are people who are over you still watching you and still so much in love with you it's weird <laughs> like that's weird Especially if they're the ones who let it go, cut things off. Well, okay. They're the ones, so why don't they just let you go? They don't want you to be with somebody else. And yet they don't want to do what it takes for you to be with them, which is a very odd comedy. Like, I find that very odd, don't you? I don't know. But yeah, I see something starting here with somebody or developing with somebody who um, has some sort of concrete bond with you. Yeah, this is being surrounded by pentacles, which I like. So this could really help you forget any past issues that you may have, heartbreak, baggage. Someone here is willing to connect with you on a soul level and they're willing to put in some work and be giving, which is something that you need, right? As opposed to you being the giving person all the time. I just think that this person will only appear when you're ready for them to appear. If they have appeared right now, then I can tell you that um, your flaws, I'm sorry, not your flaws, your fears um, are probably apparent to this person. And they're making them af uh, afraid too, fearful too. So there needs to be a balance, yeah. That's for some of you. For others of you, man, this is ridiculous because someone with whom you've ended things really wants to reconcile. And I'm like, does cancer really have time for that? Because they've gone away. Now they want to speak. Oh, they're injured. They're missing you. They want to talk. Oh, yeah, of course. There we go. Six of cups. Oh, of course. Things are done and they don't want them to be done. They want to talk. Okay, can we talk about what? In the, infamous, in the infamous words of uh, Vanessa Williams on Soul Food, can we talk about what? Someone is going to slowly try to ease their way into you, spy on you, give you the hey big head text and try to reconcile. Um, and when I say you, I'm not talking about anybody per personally. I'm just talking about cancers, plural. Um... I think someone who has been a little bit of a headache in your life, a lot a bit of a headache in your life, um, is still a headache in your life, is still haunting your dreams. You have to ask yourself why you want this person so badly. Jeez Louise, what is it? Because it only ends in, it's all heartbreak, but it follows you. Why is that? It's all heartbreak. It does not end in a fairy tale. It's all heartbreak, but it follows you. I don't know if you tell many people about that, but I can see it. 
this is whom you need. See how the Queen of Cups came to wash that out with her cup? She came to meet the King of Cups. This is whom you need. In fact, yeah. This will be a much better combination for you. Um, and I think you're trying to manifest it. Mm -hmm. Good job. Good job. Cancer. This is similar to Gemini in a way because you're showing one side of yourself to the outside world. And when you get home and you close the door, you are suffering. But like I said, and no one wants to ever listen to me. Like I said. And the cards are confirming it. Once you put your mind to something that is not painful, that is positive, that will grow you, that will promote growth, you, my love, will connect with something good and positive. You will connect here. These are divine counterparts. They belong together. And I see you either working on something, whether it's a project or just going to the office or whatever it is that this labor represents in your life. That is how you start to open up and welcome love in your life again. I don't know what it might be related to. It might be related to just labor around your house. I don't know. Um, some of you have something that was left hanging in the balance with someone that was never closed properly. And so, yeah, you've suffered bouts of regret in some case, you know, depressive energies because somebody didn't take care of your heart. They let you absorb their damage and you took it on. And both of you have been playing a game of you know, who's going to talk, who's going to send a message, having each other in your minds. Both of you have been spying on each other. Um, but for a majority of you, I would recommend that you have more love to give. And it might be time for you to give it. And in order to give it, you need to move forward, not backward. Oh, but you want your person. Uh tell me about my person my person the person who has hurt me is the person that i want cancer cancer the person who has done this to you cannot be the person that you want it is stopping progress it is leaving you hanging in a balance i'm telling you that what you're manifesting right now Maybe you found this person, but you're manifesting something a lot healthier. Something that will bring you this connection. Something, you know, your tribe, family, people who care about you will approve. Um, someone whom you don't have to watch or spy on or get upset because they liked a picture on Instagram about none of that. It's literally King Cuppa energy, Cuppa Schnucks, beautiful energy. Someone who's simply there. It's very important to have someone who is simply there. A lot of times, you know, with that hermit card, you have people who are not there. You have absent lovers. You need someone who is there. And you need something concrete. So you have this golden opportunity to, to really walk into a space of longevity with someone. And release the things that have been piling up. You're, you have a major test coming up because I told you something that's 
a skeleton in your closet wants to rise from the dead, some, someone from your past with whom things have ended and who has walked away will all of a sudden want to reconcile with you. How could they? Are you going to give them a chance? Mm. I don't know. All I know is what's good, what the cards have shown me will be good for you to do. Are you going to do that one? Or are you going to go with the fella or the lady who wants to reconcile with you? What are you going to do? All right, we shall see. We'll keep our eye on you. Let's go to Leo. Hello, Leo, and welcome to this reading. So we're going to give you, we're going to do a reading on this channel. This is just the camera running on my channel. It's not a service, Karen. You know, some people get carried away. They really are like, I ordered the chicken burger. And I'm like, um, this is my vegan home. <laughs> like, what the F are you talking about? This is my vegan home. We don't serve chicken burgers, nor do we even serve, right? This is not servitude, none of it. Not now and not ever. You will never. Um, let's do our classic brutal reading. If you're new here, feel free to watch the channel trailer. It'll tell you all about our decorum, what's expected here. Um, for the rest of you, hello to my existing schnookums. This is not your personal service, Karen, and this is schnookums land. I'm going to begin right now with your person slash your love life. And when I say your, I mean you plural. I do not mean you singular. It is not a personal reading. You're watching a demo reading, a general reading online that demonstrates the same way a demo TV in a department store would demonstrate what a TV would look like if you actually bought it. Since you haven't bought it, it's a demo television, and this is a demo reading. Um, I have two pentacles. What is this decision about? That's what we, we have to figure out, isn't it? Man, that's nasty work. Whoa, oh my God. I don't know, Leah's not going to be happy to hear this. This is not really quite moving right now, Leo. Not in the direction that you would hope. And maybe not yet. Maybe it'll move later. Because I do see this Eight of Wands. Um, But right now, man, whew, strength is not budging, no. No, 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 no. Something is not budging here. Something is left hanging in the balance, literally. Um, and something is stuck with this hanged person. Why all of a sudden a crashing hole? Why has something slowed down in your life? Maybe some of you have been thinking about that recently, and so it's showing up in your reading. Maybe you're saying, man, I used to go to a lot of parties, and now I don't. <laughs> Maybe you're saying, I used to, you know, I used to do this and I don't. I used, but something here is so slowed down. My goodness. Whoa. Somebody whom you want to deal with seems to enjoy dealing with themselves. Nine of Pentacles energy. Jeez Louise. They don't seem to want to connect. This is weird. 
sorry i'm sorry for shaking the camera this is it's kind of weird for a love reading because <laughs> somebody's supposed to be in love gosh darn it somebody is supposed to be in love this whomever it is that you've dealt with whether in your past or now doesn't need you and doesn't perceive that you need them there is no vulnerability here i have to say there's no softness you know the strength card does represent you but it, there's also a stoicism to it um this stance is so strange um because it's not soft <laughs> what two of swords even after see that's the thing with tarot you can't really you can't the tarot has said what the tarot has said you can't make it say something else you know what i mean and like if you don't emphasize a point enough and you put it back put back something that it said it will bring out another card just repeating the same thing and you'd be like oh darn so a lot of you may need to get to the bottom of why there is either Sahara Desert dryness for some of you, right? The cobwebs down there. Or for the others, it's like you're dealing with somebody who is not willing to open up. Something is at a halt, in other words. Why is that? It just seems... A bit unfair, I would say. I mean, not unfair, but I mean, geez. There is nothing. I mean, this is a guarded, stuck energy with something hanging in the balance. Someone not really making a decision that they need to make. You're showing up. That's lovely energy, the sun. But I fear that this is more so for them. I think maybe some of you are dealing with somebody who just needs a little bit of time to themselves to kind of reflect. And when they come out of that reflection, they might realize, oh my gosh, Leah was everything I needed and more. And for others of you, it's just been super duper dry for now, super empty for now. And maybe in time, after you've done some reflection, you will walk into the spotlight yet again and people will recognize your beauty, right? And start to step up and say something. That's the king of saying something. He is the king of logic. Everything of the mind and mouth. Pause. But there's certainly a calculation here that needs to be made. Um, it's not committal enough. There's nothing committal here showing up just yet. Not that everybody, let's be clear, everybody doesn't want commitment. I understand that. You know, I'm not saying that everybody wants it. I'm just saying that it's unusually blocked today. Something is hard to get through. Um, it will eventually thaw out. The person who is for you, the way you will be able to tell it's them is that they will be very forthcoming with their feelings, with their thoughts. They will talk. They will talk. They won't leave you unread, as, <laughs> as they say. No. No, they won't block you over here. They won't leave you hanging. They won't wait you, make you wait too long for a response. The person who is for you is happy to hear from you. They will step up and they will talk. And they will break the ice with that sword. That rules, communication, logic, all of those things. That is a huge hint of the person you need to be with. Is communication. FYI. Maybe, you know what? Maybe some of you know who that person is, and maybe some of you really, really have to just go through this desert period, 
very slow with a knight of pentacles. Maybe some of you just have to go through that knight of pentacles, that slow desert period before you um, get an idea of what's coming. Oh gosh, this is so dry. That five of pentacles is dry energy. There's also an emptiness here that someone needs to fill in their own lives. And maybe that's why they're guarded and blocked. Yeah, they're not yet open. I mean, it's so odd that this would be the case. But hey, if that's coming out and that's coming out and that's coming out and that's coming. Like, I will tell you, if the queen has come to meet the king in this way, then this is just further confirmation that your person, look out for whomever it is, right? Your person is not going to ice you out. No. If you've come to this reading because someone has iced you out, then that is not your person. Because that's really all these cards are saying. They're pointing to someone icing someone out because of their own shortcomings and they're wanting to slow things down. Um, and they're, they're really emphasizing communication as your happiness, your key, your person, your identification, how you will tell that that person is for you is how easily you can talk to them about just about anything. No judgment. There's a connection here that's based on, and I'm sorry for shaking the camera. I do this all the time. There's a connection here that's based on two people matching logic to logic, wit to wit. Communication to communicate. That's your person. That's, a, that's the one for you. If you haven't seen anything like this just yet and things are blocked hard to get to, not emotional at all, stoic, sad, then that's not it. If things are dry and there's no one, wait because the sun, there's a light at the, end, at the end of the tunnel and you will know your next connection by the way the person talks to you. You will know it instantly. There's so many swords here. Um, let's see what's on this side yeah I mean I can I can tell that some of you could have been down for a little bit because I'm not going to lie to you this is dry AF what is this five of pentacles nine of pentacles nine of swords like all oh, this is just sad dry dry uncertain stuck blocked <laughs> you know it's this it's not giving you the action that makes you feel alive this makes you feel alive and it's coming but it's coming with someone who speaks not this person who likes to make you agonize and and guess what the heck they're thinking if you've had that in your in your history even if you haven't the point is that communication is huge in your next chapter, which some of you are moving towards because it's going to get stale to have nothing with someone and think that that person is yours. You're going to move on. That chariot will take you from one stage of your life to the next. Um, it will bring you new opportunity. It'll bring you the chance to connect with somebody. Uh, it, it'll probably make you walk away from someone who's not giving enough because, I mean, Leo's... I would be surprised. I mean, Leos are not going to hang around for, to be bored. No, mm -mm. that's not really a Leo character. This is too much boredom for a Leo. It's too, like, it's too dry. There's not enough action. There's not enough fire, heat. I think the person who's going to open up your world again is going to chat your head off. You're going to talk through the night into the dawn. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, that is going to be a, a, a huge hint. Like, okay, so this is this is whom she was talking about. Um, you're, some of you are still waiting on an apology from something that happened ages ago. You're not moving on just yet. You're like, mm, can I still have an apology? What do you think that's going to be? Closure or something? Why do you need that apology? Why do you need someone to say sorry? Some of you even low-key want to hear from the same person who hurt you. The pages are typically messengers. Some of you still want that message. You've not been able to be as social recently. Wow. 
He's very remarkable for a Leo, I will say. It's quite remarkable for a Leo to be this introverted, you know, to come into an introversion season dealing with all of that. Ah. Oh. Well, if you left things hanging with someone and it didn't, like I told you, something is hanging in the balance. If you left things hanging with someone, they, you know, they're certainly still thinking about it. They're not, if, if it's not resolved with you, it's certainly not going to be resolved with them. They're still thinking about it. Wor you know, they're worried at night. They might be too stubborn to say anything or take any action. But like I said to you, you are, you know, the queen of action. You need action. You need something happening with your fire coming out here. The universe has to turn. Yes, I talked about closure and some of you want that. But this apology is not going to make you feel any better. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, you don't really need it. You've taken the time to yourself. You've walked away from some something for a lot of you. Any more from the wrong person will only confuse you. What you need, according to the cards, not according to me, is a movement forward. Yeah, on that chariot. It will ride you into the sunshine or the sunset. Well, this is two victory cards trying to pull you from that hermit mode, get you back into the swing of things, get you socializing again, get you winning again, growing again, going from one stage to the other getting you smile again, getting you to yourself again, as these cards do represent you. And so we don't take that lightly. We know that the universe has said, okay, Leo, you see, you see all the signs of a slowdown, don't you? I mean, these cards are very effective at, at conveying a slow down, like in access, dust, you know, something left hanging in the balance. You've seen all this. You don't need to see anymore. What you need to look forward to once you get on that chariot is a lot of chat, 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 chat. You're not going to be able to stop talking to this person who's approaching you with love. Your true person, like I don't care whom you're dealing with now, but the sign of the person who is for you is someone whom you can't stop talking to. Not someone who's so independent they don't need you. No. So as a meeting of the minds, a -a 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 -a, someone who loves to pick your brain. This is this is you. Mm -hmm. So look for that when the sun comes out, because that's that's really your person. Um, all right. So let's go to let's see if we can go to Virgo. Let's do Virgo. All right, Virgo, let's get started and see what we have for you today. Hello to my existing schnookums. Please keep in mind, this is not a personal service, Karen. This is schnookums land. If you're new here, please watch the channel trailer. Please watch the channel trailer. It'll tell you everything that you need to know about the channel. Keep in mind, this is a demo reading, just like a demo television in a department store. It is not your television. This is a demo reading. All right, welcome. Um, Let's get started. This Three of Swords is pretty harsh, man. Oof. The Ten of Swords is, 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 is harsh as well. Harsh as well. Some of you are coming through a heartbreak. Or you're just existing. 
I know that sounds harsh, but that's, I mean, I'm just reading the energies. Some of you feel like you're just existing. It, there is no deliberate love. Um, and you want to feel that spark again, don't you? I think you don't want to give up hope. You don't want to feel like there's nothing in the world that can appease you. There's nothing in the world that can appeal to you. You know, you don't want to absorb the negative experiences you've had in your life and take them for truth. That is a clear warning. Some of you are interpreting the damage and trauma that you've experienced from other people as your truth. That is the wrong interpretation. Just because some of the eggs you've turned over have been rotten doesn't mean that love itself is rotten and doesn't mean that you've come to the end of the road. It doesn't mean that there won't be prospects. It just means that your journey, your search, your tutelage, your learning is different. Rather than waste too much time allowing it to consume you, I would say, let's explore the lesson and let's give you assurance that you will have multiple opportunities with multiple, multiple people who are, are attracted to you and to whom you are attracted um, to exhibit what you've learned. Now, in some cases with all this detriment, some of you are not letting go of what is obvious. When the injury shows itself, you're still holding on. So this is deception. Someone is definitely not being honest with you. And in fact, they might be gaslighting you into thinking that issues that they carry, their own baggage and their own injuries are yours, which is a deception tactic. I know some of you don't want to see this or admit it or, you know, embrace it, but I'm telling you that's what's showing up. Um... This is so, oh gosh, this is so sore that I want to hug you. There are too many swords. It's, oh, it's like double the injury, seven plus three, ten, ten. It's, it's just too much, Virgo. And it's time to either call it out or release it. I think the universe is saying the same thing. That wheel of fortune, that fate is just turning purging out things in your life that no longer serve you because the universe wants you to do more than just exist in this reality where people just seem to hurt each other. The universe wants you to know that there is good, you know, that there is hope, that there is instrument in your life and that there's someone for you. The main problem with a lot of your connections, some of you in your history, is that somebody has stepped out or has used you as a pawn. Mm -hmm. You were a pawn in some situations. Um, some of these situations had other people involved with these threes just kind of popping out, threes always being this crowd. They don't always have to be, but in this case, they definitely are. Um, and maybe you didn't know, but as you realize that, you become this choice that someone has to make or this gateway that someone uses to flee their own situation but then you end up still with no one or you end up with someone who isn't paying you as much attention as they should either way i mean it is so hurtful the pain there's a lot of pain in this relationship history that you're pulling up too many swords they could be double-edged um because on the one hand they could be great teachers on the other hand they could be extremely painful and they're all coming out I don't know what someone is cooking up to tell you, how they're planning to convince you of this, of that, the other. But I would say, mm, mm. you see who's coming out for you? Kappa Schnooks, King Kappa. He's a very special card on this channel. The King of Cups. If you want to know why, you have to go to my channel homepage and just in the search bar, just type the word emergency. And you'll see the video all about King Kappa, Kappa, Kappa Schnooks and why he's such a good omen on this channel but he's coming out for you because well in your case i was going to i was just about to say in your case 
I think someone who has already tortured you might rise up from nowhere and try to butter you up. And I just think that is just, I think that's a no, right? They're going to present you with two sides of themselves or someone else, a second person might, you know, step up to the plate, charm you, talk to you and so on and so forth. I will say right now, there's something new coming. Wow. That's, but it might be something new with the same person who's trying to return. Oh, God. Really? Really? But why won't... Okay. I guess I won't speak on your behalf. I won't speak on your behalf. You can make whatever decision that you want to. But blimey. I just wish that people were more respectful of the damage they've already caused. Do you know what I mean? Like, because to start off like this is, is too painful for someone to try to return. So I don't know why they would be giving off that energy, but it seems like they are. I see, I see more than one person, definitely, for a lot of you Virgos. I see someone who's, who would be a lot more soothing for you, wanting to start, you know, afresh. And then I see someone who might be more of the same. So with the twos popping out, you know, two of pentacles, a decision-making card, two of wands, a, a strategy card, it will be up to you to decide what kind of person you want and what kind of lessons you've learned. Because I was telling you in the beginning, a lot of these things have happened to you because they want to strengthen and teach you whom you want, the lessons you've learned and how that will lead you to the love you deserve. Um, I'm sorry, but today these cards are calling out your choices. Oof. These cards are saying your choices are darn near rotten. This is so much deception. Maybe even on your part, but, you know, you have, you, you know, look at this, mirroring each other, two people just sort of showing each other the same shysty sides. Um, that can get really tricky, can't it? Yeah. Um, some of you are waiting. To embark on something. You have a huge decision to make. Obviously the two of pentacles also coming out on your side. Whatever decision you make about your future. Will determine the quality of your love life. So if it's about a place to move. You better move in the right place. If it's about. You know. What, how you socialize. You better have it be in the right place. Because it will affect a lot of things. I'm also concerned now about these threes. What's up with them? You have all of them in the suit. Three of pentacles, three of swords, three of wands, three of cups, all of them coming out because you, you, a lot of you have to learn to choose people who are choosing you. Man, this is a lot of anxiety that you faced over people who did not choose you. You know, all of that mystery. Yeah, it was like, are you kidding me? Ugh, this negativity has got to stop. You need to heal. There's, there's too much liking and loving people who are just crap. Too much of it. Too much. Too much. I mean, it's, it's, not, a, it's not a soothing thing to hear, I know, but maybe the universe wants to burst these things open so that you can take a look at them. And fight them because your inner demons are all showing up today. And, you know, this is deception. This is all those, you know, negative self-thoughts. These are not great. They are forcing you to have a look at what is making you so anxious, what is hidden, why you are intrigued by people who hurt you, and how you can come out of that. Um, some of you are still obsessively sending messages to people who have cut things off. You're still sending, you're still trying, you're still, do you know what I mean? And it's leaving you feeling more and more triggered, more and more abandoned. The 
this is good. It's a good potential energy. But it feels a long way away. It feels like it's the reward for the work that you have to do on yourself. Yeah. I don't think some of you are over a past person and that is really what is clouding this reading. I'm sorry for those of you who want somebody different. But some of you Virgos are really ruining it for the crowd. You're not over that energy. You still feel like there's potential there. And you want me to tell you something different. You want it to lead to something, you know, more. But it's blocked by all of these negative energies. In fact, it's making you too nervous. You can't feel like someone is a one for you if you're always nervous, especially around text messaging. They haven't texted you. They haven't messaged you. They've made you wait. Or they've, you know, made you an option. It is just too much for you. I think, you know, it triggers abandonment issues. It triggers a lot of things. Um, you know, they've shown their true colors. Some of you understand that there's some suspicion there, right? Especially for those of you who are actually in relationships or connections, you've seen whatever deception that you need to see. So you don't even need the cards to keep explaining it to you. You still want to grow, but you have to know that, you know, you're choosing somebody. Uh, whose lies maybe will catch up to them eventually. There's a lot said here and there's a lot that's injurious and there's a lot that's not true. Um, if you have no one, good for you. Um, I see, like I said, two kings. So you definitely have an option somewhere. You definitely have a new beginning that might start. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is still turning, but it will only turn in the direction you lead it in. If you lead it to a past person, it will go back to the past and you will continue to struggle with a dead end situation. Hello Libra, how are you? Welcome everybody. Libra, 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 how are you doing? So we're going to do a reading for you and just kind of get you right settled here. Welcome. Libras are overrepresented on this channel. They always give a healthy shout. Um, if you're new here, please watch the channel trailer. Otherwise, welcome. This is, of course, a demo reading, not a personal reading. This is not your personal service, Karen. This is Schnookums Land. Hello to my existing Schnookums. Let's see. We're going to do quite a deep dive reading for you today. Let's see what we have. Major, major reading for you today. Let's see what we have. Ooh, what? The chariot? Where are you going? Where are you off to? If you don't have any plans to go anywhere, well, it looks like someone's approaching you. And it's victorious. I think you need this. Because not only is this movement, but it's also a sigh of relief. Yeah, it's a freedom. It's a, let, a letting go. It's you need that release. You need something new. Now, somebody foreign or far away could catch your eye. If they haven't already. There is this sense of somebody being slightly culturally different from you, whether it's by class or by any other background it could be you know you two could come from distant lands but there is a, a connection here that could stand to be a lot more exciting for you there's a wait time this seems still like travel because this is also still someone waiting for their ships to come in what is ahead of you is what you should be concerned about because there's something i don't know if it's huge but i i can see that there is something ahead um, let's continue. 
wood. Are some of you like in need of a tune-up? Have you not had fun in like 20,000 years? Because the cards are calling you out on that if you've not. If you've not had enough fun in the past three months, three years, three weeks, three days, three centuries, three decades, I can tell you right now, the cards are saying, it's time for some fun, baby. I don't know where that fun will come from, but the cards are definitely saying it's time for it. Um, oh, not someone slowly approaching you, making you want to have that fun. Interesting. Why is this person taking their sweet, precious time is the real question. Try not to be anybody's option. Make sure that you're clear. Um, ooh, that silenced me up. Yeah, because if another three had landed here, it would have been problematic. But the sun, that cancels out everything. That's the best card in the deck. Let's see. Ooh, your counterpart? I think a lot of you have been through enough crap that the universe is trying to reward you with something. The universe said, come on, something, child. I'm not going to pull out Cup of Schnooks because he didn't come out naturally, but... Ooh, Libra. If you've been dry, if you've been bored, there's some heat coming your way. Look at this gallop towards you, especially with this night. I mean, the night is very reliable, even though he moves slowly. It seems to me that the cards are roasting you a little bit because they're saying, man, Libra hasn't been out of the house since... <laughs> I don't know. Since the Olympics was held in uh, France. Okay, that's not a good one. Since the last episode of Bugs Bunny. I don't know. They're saying you haven't had fun. I don't know what they, a good joke for that is. A good roast for it is. But the point is you need to go outside. Freaking A. You need to see the sun. There's a lot of fun waiting for you. And people need to see your beautiful, wonderful face. Um, because, you know, you're not seen for whatever reason. So I think the next chapter that you're approaching is going to have you out a lot more. If you've not been out as much, you're going to be out a lot more. You're probably going to travel a lot more. You're going to meet foreign entities a lot more. <gasps> Another three. Wait, let's slow down. Why another three? Remember I was telling you that if it had appeared here, it would have been a problem. Now it's appearing here. But the Queen of Wands is present. Hold on, hold on. Let's see. Hmm. The Magician. Maybe some of you have been really purposeful about not being seen. This is forcing a lot of extroversion on you. In some of your cases, it's actually saying that the reason for your possible introversion and not going outside to be seen is because some of you found yourselves in situations that involved more than one person. You know that you can't do third party situations, right? So that's out of the question. But at the same time, you can't, you know, you can't stay inside. Um, obviously, you are attracting someone to you. Someone is going to find you extremely attractive. You know, people are going to want to collaborate and work with you. Um, that collaboration energy is showing. Ooh, okay. I don't know if you know this because it slipped under our radar a couple of times.
but I'm going to tell you something. There is someone, you may not even think of the person right now. It might take you a minute to think because I, I think that's how abstract this person is in your life at this point. But there is someone with whom you have actually ended things, whom you barely even like or love, who is still attracted to you, and they still think about you obsessively. I don't know if you would even guess this person. But they remain lurking in the shadows and they are thinking about you obsessively. If you know, if you've experienced anyone like that in your life, it's that person. It's that same person. Um, it doesn't matter what they think, but, you know, their presence is showing up here. It could be a little bit confusing for you because some of you have moved on and are looking for new options. Some of you have dealt with people who've dealt with other options. Um, and maybe that's why, you know, a lot of time has passed without you really connecting with anyone concrete. Um, but maybe the universe is trying to turn that around and saying, listen, that has hurt you enough. The hermitude, you see that hermit? It has hurt you enough. You've gone inside. You've punished yourself enough. My love, it's time for you to get back to yourself. That's you there, the justice card. It is the balance that you need. You can't punish yourself forever. We get it. You know, you're upset at how you dealt with XYZ situation. It shouldn't have gone that way. But it's time to forgive yourself, Libra. Not anybody else at this time. Yourself. So that you can experience whatever it is the universe is trying to get you to experience. And bring in new adventure. Right. I'm not surprised. Wheel of Fortune is saying, come on, girl or guy. Let's get the show on the road. You have to forgive yourself. And now it doesn't matter what happened. It doesn't matter that you embarrassed yourself because you read mixed messages and you haunted. And you were haunted by someone or you hunted somebody down. It only matters that you heal now so you can prepare for the next stage. I bet you that you're going to get the chariot too, because this is almost like the chariot, the judgment coming down. It's, except in your case, it's really my Red Cross card for you. It's healing. It's, you know, understanding that you can't hold on to this forever. This, this thing where you feel like, oh, woe is me. My cup is empty. I, you know, betrayed myself. I didn't listen. I didn't grow. I didn't enough enough libra um all that inner conflict is blocking your shine you need to rise up and be able to say you're fine even if you have to start from scratch start from scratch um and i and i assure you based on this reading that the minute you are seen in the light you're supposed to be seen in you will start to feel like yourself again you will start to have a lot of admirers you will start to attract commitment. See? Commitment coming into your life with that Four of Wands energy. You'll start to get the things that you know you should have long gotten. Now, this is not to put any sort of timeline pressure on you with this Temperance card. None of that. It's just sometimes we take a pause and we think it's the end of the world and there's nothing else to continue for. But there's so much more. There's a whole world to unlock and there you are returning yourself to yourself so that you can unlock it i think the universe is going to force you to be so extroverted it's going to drive you nuts you're like oh can i just get to my bed and the universe will say no you can't you can't go back to your bed to brood and to be sad and to no 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 so all of you who have enjoyed your time under your covers, feeling sorry for yourself. Uh, continue to uh, enjoy that because that's coming to a close. The universe is saying extroversion time. It's literally pushing you out. It's quickening the pace of this night as well. This is slow and this is much faster. It's getting you out there, whether you like it or not, because it needs to get you ready for this commitment, this connection, this healing, this luck, this fate. So enough woe is you, enough woe is me energy, Libra. You're in for a wild ride. Okay, let's see. Let's keep it moving.
Scorpio, it's your turn. Welcome to the reading. Oh, baby, give me one more. All right. Um, uh oh, there's a lot unknown. It's about to become known right now. A lot unknown that's going to become known. All right. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch, what else? Welcome, everyone. If you're just joining us and this is your first time, I encourage you to watch the channel trailer. It'll give you all you need to know about the channel's decorum rules. Um, please keep in mind these are demo readings. Just like you have demo televisions at a department store, those are not your actual televisions. So keep that in mind. This is not your personal service, Karen. Uh, this is Schnookum's Land. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my house. Act like you have sense in my house. Otherwise, we all know what happens. All right. Six of Cups energy. <sighs> That's interesting. Are any... Is any of you interested in the past by any chance? <laughs> Could I interest you in a past person by any chance? Well, someone's trying to work something out. Oh, but this might not be with you. This might actually be with somebody else. Hang on, because... Yeah, the way the cards are positioned, you could be, you know, thinking of somebody who is literally working things out with somebody else as we speak. Uh, it's a split feeling. I don't know. They don't know whether to work it out with you or to try to work it out with somebody else. This is reconciliation showing up, but I see that they're split. This is a lot of splitting in, in, in these energies. Well, don't listen. I can tell you right off the bat, you don't want to deal with someone who is one foot in and one foot out, right? So you may want to take your time there and see which direction you'd like to go in. And if you don't have a person, this will be a good time for you to gather yourself, gather your thoughts, recall and remember, right? The injuries that were caused in the past so that you don't repeat them again in the future. I think you know already that you are better than begging anyone who can't listen the first time. You know, you are better than this stubborn sort of stoic energy and someone putting you on pause until they figure out what they would like to do. You're better than that. Um... Well, someone's coming back around to try to reconcile, but make sure you're not second best because I can, I get a lot of second best energy from here. They want to press that restart button, but they may want to press it with you and or someone else. You don't want to be anyone second best. If I were you and you're looking for a new person, all the best, you know, that's a better option for you because this past person is not seeming like... They're the only option that that not seeming like they're the best option because you may not be the only option for them. Um, some of you may still want it. You may still want to try to work it out. I'm not saying it won't work out, but I am saying that some Scorpios may not be able to handle the fact that they are secondary. Um, there are lots of twos themed here. Um, Two of Cups is coming out, which is good. I mean. Like I said, there's an opening for love and affection somewhere, and but um, I'm not sure that you would be the only one. I think someone has two in their head in still trying to decide. You know, they're still trying to decide. Is Scorpio the one? Trying to make up their mind. And as a result of that, they may have very little output. And I just don't 
I don't want that for anybody. Not just Scorpio, but it's like that will lead to disaster. You see these fives popping out? Five of Wands over here, Five of Pentacles over there. I've picked up somebody who is interested in you and interested in somebody else who will come back to you, who will try to reconcile, who will try to start something new, who's still watching you, who feels stressed about decisions. but ultimately feels to me like they're making you an option. So hopefully your cards will lead you on a track to not having to deal with that. They're, it's probably spreading out this way because some of you don't care if someone, you know, is deciding between you and somebody else. You don't care. You just still want that person. You're flattered that they're still thinking about you and, you know, they want a connection with you. They want to reconcile or press the restart button. So, you know, you're splitting the Scorpio reading in that sense. Um, I think some Scorpios are happy to wait for someone who won't split them. Some of you have gotten into major, major, um, I would say arguments. Hang on. You've gone into major arguments with people who have made you wait in the past. So I don't know if you want to read. Hold on. I don't know if you want to repeat the past. Yeah, I mean, look, see, look what's happening. Some of you are dealing with someone that I find quite hard to get through, right? Very stoic energy, you know, very stubborn as well. I feel like it's their way or the highway. Um... I don't know if that works for every Scorpio, right? Like, look, I think there's a sense of pride that you need over here when it comes to dealing with certain people because you might have outgrown, I want to see an emperor because I feel like you might have outgrown some of that where it's like you're still waiting to be chosen. Yeah, I mean, you've outgrown this drama. Some of you hate the idea of starting from scratch, but better to start from scratch than to really redeal with a, a theme that you've already, you know, aged out of, right? Because some for some of you, the person you're thinking about right now is just too much pressure. It's too much negativity. It's too much um, trauma. I think you will see someone that you're thinking of in person that's coming up but you will also discover that three is a crowd because the threes are popping up as well you will discover that you know what whatever it is that's distracting that person whatever way they want to do things maybe that's not your way and so that's where the source of conflict might come from if it's not already happened but the universe is you know telling you to stand firm in your own beliefs um, don't feel the need to make major moves. The ultimate love is coming, yeah. I don't know, some of these Scorpios are not listening to me because the cards are like saying, oh, the ultimate love is coming. You always have these, you have these aces showing up here, but nah, some of you still want a past person. It's showing up, man. You see that? Six of Cups, yeah. You still, you don't want to move from here. You want a reading about a past person, someone you're dealing with now. You want someone that you know now to be into you, regardless of the flags, the signs, the injuries. You want that person still. The remnants of that person have not gone away. You want this person to reconcile, to press this restart button. You think there's something there, regardless of how difficult it is, regardless of how stubborn they are. You're down still. You're flattered by the fact that they're into you, they're watching you, they want to reconcile. You don't even care whether, you know, they have to decide between you and someone else. That's real talk, according to these cards. Um, for others of you who do want to move on, well, <laughs> apparently the cards are saying that you're not over something. That you're still thinking about something here that's nostalgic, retrospective still is still in your way in terms of trauma injury whatever 
Um, and even though I can say, okay, fine, they're new beginnings, their ace is showing up, it feels to me like you're still battling through and working through some of the drama left over by people that you've dealt with, people who've introduced, you know, concepts in your life that weren't even there before. You're like, wait, now the heck did I get to talk about a three-way situation? I never dealt with that before. Um, so you're still there, you know, and that's fine. No judgment. For others of you, maybe you want to hop on this chariot and move forward, but something keeps pulling you back, right? This is very juxtapositional. This moves forward and this kind of stays stuck. So you got to figure out why it is uh, or what it is that's keeping you from sort of manifesting the love of your life, the relationship of your dreams, why it is someone keeps appearing in your dreams that you already know this person is not letting you go. They keep thinking about you. They keep, you know what I mean, commanding some of your energetic space. They want to restart something with you. Man. But they're tough. They're difficult. I mean, this is this is a bit stubborn. It's not like it's easy to deal with them. I don't know. All right, let's go to Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius, let's see what we have for you. Um, welcome to Schnickham's Land. Hello, everybody. This is not your personal service, Karen. This is Schnickham's Land. Hello. Uh, if you're new here, you can always hit the subscribe button, join our tribe, hit subscribe, but please make sure to watch the channel trailer. If you've never been to this channel before, it tells you all about decorum expected on the channel. Um, okay. Why are a lot of you dealing with people who have to decide between you and somebody else? It's really ridiculous. I just finished doing a reading like this and now it's popping up in your cards too. So why is that? Why do they, since when? Do people suddenly have to decide between you and somebody else? This is decision making, decision making. And in some cases, they may have made a decision and now they're falling back to kind of heal and see what happens, see what the universe does. They're leaving a lot of this up to the universe, up to chance, up to fate. Um, these are two major arcana cards, so something is very much shifting in your love life. Um, there's some new changes coming your way. Hmm. Major, major arcana cards popping up. New changes, new beginnings. Um, for some of you, those new changes, quote unquote, and new beginnings are really just a new chapter in the same old stuff that you have with somebody who is ravenous about you. Still very physically attracted to you. Still, you know, they still don't know what to do about that physical attraction. Um... Listen, do you want to be caught up in threes being a crowd? Do you really? I mean, no, I don't think you do. I think not only does someone in your life, if you're dealing with somebody, need to make a decision, but you need to make a decision as well. Because your relationship history is showing a pattern. Some of you have been with people who were already taken. This is the hair font. This is so they could have been married to somebody else and wanting to be with you, and maybe having a hard time, but falling very deeply for you. I knew that King of Wands was going to come out. I just knew it. It's like they fall really deeply for you, but then there's something taboo, something they can't move past, and then they have to sort of work it out because they've fallen in love with you and. It gets really crazy in some of your connections. Well, I can see someone's still attracted to you. Some of you will be out and about and you will meet someone in person that will illuminate for you what your next steps in love should be. 
It is only by talking to them in person, one on one, that things will clear out and be very, very, you know, solid and explained to you. Um, the text messaging is not going to work. You have to save all of your correspondences for in person correspondence. Um, wow. Some of you are really still thinking about pregnancy, growth, expansion, fertility, those issues that the Empress rules. Um, right. Somebody knows that about you and feels like they either want to return to try to provide that or, you know, they want to use it as an excuse why they need to be distant walk away, be silent, be broken, be absent, you know, it's very complicated because the more you are vulnerable with people, the more they use your vulnerability as an excuse for why they can't show up in the way they need to show up. But then it's funny because they hold you to such high standards. And I see someone here who is deeply, deeply enamored with you, like in love you know, like in love, but then I see this clashing that tells me that, you know, maybe you're not the only entity in that person's life, which is very confusing, I know, especially for some of you who think that you are the only entity in that person's life, it's like, why are there two energies here competing, listen, maybe one is romantic and one is platonic, Either way, they're competing. There's a division. There's some sort of competition showing up. Um, you are doing some research right now. You're finding out information possibly about your person, about relationships. Um, you know, you're just kind of watching tarot, looking for clues. You've been back and forth a lot. Um, maybe you're looking for the key to a more stable connection, a more stable relationship. And I don't blame you. Because it's about time. This seems a bit juvenile. So I wouldn't be surprised if you cut some people out of your life before the end of the year. Um, and start 2024 with a, just a new leaf. Focusing, of course, on your accomplishments. Focusing on people who align with your goals. Yeah. And just being guarded against people who want to be in and out. People who aren't serious about you. Um, you're taking a stand. Some of you are already aware that... You were not the only person in someone's life. Someone made you uh, one of their options. And that, my friend, is something that may have been a wake-up call, regardless of how deeply they felt about you. Uh, maturity showing up here. Some of you have serious daddy issues, whether you're male or female, and you know that. So it's probably inspiring you to either drift apart from, you know, current situations or, yeah, explore, travel, do something new that will change your horizon and your perspective. So there's a lot ahead for you. I think the Wheel of Fortune is turning. I think that you will find some connections will abruptly close, very abruptly close, and then some connections will be very new. Um, yeah, you have some, some newness ahead if you take the plunge. If you uh, continue to cut things off that don't work for you. I see you attracting brand new energy that is filled with love and soulmate stuff and all that stuff. It will happen rapidly and quickly, rapidly and quickly, but you have to cut out the things that hold you back or the person that holds you back and makes you an option. All right, let's move on to the next sign. And that sign is called the Peace Sign by 